What's the creepiest country you've ever been to and why? Dot. Haiti because it looked like an apocalyptic nightmare. Turkmenistan. Went there on the Mongol rally race. We tried to pay for a hotel but they said they were fully booked. There was no people there. The reality was it was just a prop. None of the rooms were furnished. It was eerie. North Korea vibes. Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar. Underage prostitutes were banging on hotel door. The demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. An abandoned fairground always good for creepiness, a restored but deserted train station between South Korea and Pyongyang which is obviously never used but still shows Pyongyang on the departures screens, the stark contrast between the forested side of South Korea and the treeless side of North Korea which has been cut down for fuel, but most of all a fully built town on the North Korean side which apparently nobody lives in, it's just to give an illusion of prosperity. Not a country but the Atlantic City boardwalk was pretty creepy. Everyone walking towards me looked like slow-moving zombies. Jamaica. The tourists get walled off from the natives in compounds. It's like jail with booze and a beach. Cairo. Men with greasy hair, eyes that can see through clothes, cigarettes that permanently hang from the corner of mouths and pinky fingers with a single extra long nail. Lovely jubbly. Belarus what attention already at the border control. Old Soviet way of style on many of the things I experienced. Qatar, they literally were forcing me to stay and work by withholding my passport I will never go back their worst country I ever been to. Eventually got it back when I threatened to call the embassy and media. Brazil Rio de Janeiro. I was invited to provide training for a Brazilian client. My hotel was in a non-tourist area with businesses and government offices. Before sundown, everyone would leave the area before it got dark, and crowds of street people would move in. I was told in no uncertain terms not to leave the hotel after dark. Those crowds would disappear the next morning and the streets would be full of people going to work and enjoying the nearby park. Afghanistan in 2010-11. We ran convoy security, mostly at night. Saw some crazy shit on the roads. I fucking hated Egypt. Dominican Republic. I was at an all-inclusive resort. It was about two hours away from the airport. We were not allowed off the bus, and when we arrived, we were told not to leave the property. The country is very poor but rich compared to Haiti next door. Lots of men with machine guns in places you wouldn't expect. It was terrifying. Nigeria. Just avoid it. I'm sure you mean spookiest but I want to mention that the aggressive sexual harassment from unfamiliar creepy men in public is unbelievable in Rome. All manufacturing sectors districts I have seen in China. Nothing more than modern day slavery and absurd amounts of pollution environmental destruction. It why we can buy so much cheap junk. Laos. I'm a white girl with curly hair and when I went I was in mid-twenties, a guy pulled over on his bike, whistled to get my attention, got his meat out and started jacking off in the street. Kept his helmet on though. Classy guy. Mentally scarred me but I got over it fast. It wasn't even dark and I was in a city. Mental. Cambodia. A beautiful country, but the atrocities of Khmer Rouge are still very fresh and visible. Qatar felt weird and felt off. I'd cow to explain it. Uzbekistan. A cloak of fear surrounds the entire country. You're always looking over your shoulder in case you're about to be nabbed by the authorities. I was nearly arrested by the Secret Service after being mistaken for an American journalist, but that's a story for another day. It was a really scary place. This was 15 years ago so maybe better these days. Singapore. Whole time I was there they text updates of my position to my phone. All the people are weirdly brainwashed such that only thing they talk about is how Singapore the best at everything. Very strange place. Not that it was that creepy, I just didn't get around that much, so I have to say communist Romania. In the village we stayed at it was very rural, and very beautiful. 
animals all running water and outdoor toilet but nice anyway. But we slept in the city for a few days and I remember a lot of apartment blocks and dogs barking in the street all goddamn night. Like many of them. Multiple packs of dogs having gang fights or whatever. All that barking echoing between these grey high-rise apartments. Dubai, just something really off about it. Tunisia, we went to Monastir. A lot of the men were leering and sexually aggressive even towards young girls. A local was kicked out of our hotel because he'd wandered into the women's bathroom and wanked all over one of the toilet seats. Luckily, there were 42 of us on that trip, it would have been quite intimidating with a small group. I'm reasonably well traveled, I've been to 30 countries on 5 continents, but Tunisia was by far the worst. Times change, and this was 17 years ago, so hopefully, it's much better now. But at the time, it was creepy as hell. Belgium, sorry Belgians. I was only there Brussels for five days but the entire city felt like a liminal space. Every time I went out, morning, day, night, it was empty and almost no businesses were open. If they were open, some of them seemed really out of place, like a bar open at 8am with no one in it, amongst lots of closed businesses. Also the local people I met were all a bit mean so it made me feel a bit socially isolated which probably contributed to the vibe for me. TLDR everywhere is creepy in a way. Thailand for obvious sex pat reasons. Went to a gay bar with my brother and cousins. An Indian guy was very excited by our presence and proceeded to try to make me and my brother to kiss by pushing our heads together, repeatedly, even though he spoke English and we told him we were brothers. That felt pretty creepy.